This is headquarters, Sergeant Shirley. Sergeant, this is Harry Freeman at station KJVI. You're on the air right now. Yes? Just so you understand, Sergeant, you may be part of an historic first. I conduct this morning phone show. Yes, I've heard it. Don't gush, Sergeant. Try to restrain your enthusiasm. I'm reporting a crime, or at least a possible crime, provided, of course, that it is still illegal to take your own life. What can I do for you, Mr. Freeman? A girl called in about 15, 20 minutes ago. She said she was going to kill herself. Maybe she is, maybe she isn't. The fact is, it is a possibility, and I think you guys down there ought to do something about it. Who is she? I don't know. No name at all? No first name? She never said. Did she say where she was? Sorry? <sighs> then you're not sure she's calling from the city. She could be anywhere. She's not anywhere, Sergeant. She's somewhere, and I think it's up to you to find her. You say there's a girl. You don't know where. You don't know who she is, and I presume you don't know what she looks like. Well, she's out there somewhere, and you want us to find her. Hey, pal, I don't want you to do anything. But I'm a dues-paying citizen this saltwater mecca reporting a police situation. I think it's up to you to do something about it, because if you check your contract with the city, that is what we pay you for. How do you expect us to find her? I expect you to look for her. Look. We'd look if we knew where to look, and maybe we'd find her. But the reality is, Mr. Freeman, there is absolutely nothing we can do, based on what you've given me. Oh. Oh, I, I got you, Sarge. When they bring in the body, that's when you go to work, right? You're oversimplifying, Mr. Freeman. Well, thanks very much, Sergeant Shirley. It's awfully nice to talk to you, really. I hope to God I never really need you guys for anything. You're about as useful as a G-string in a snowstorm. So much for our sentinels of law and order. You know what you just heard, folks? Dead air. That's a no-no here in Radio Land. But old Uncle Harry is... is thinking. And the question is now, what? I mean, do we just sit around figuring we're getting our legs pulled? I want to tell you something, folks. I'm... I'm mad. I'm really mad. The steam is just pouring out of old Uncle Harry's ears. There's a guy down at the police station. You heard him who said that the girl can't be found. The word was can't. Well, I'll tell you what I think. Maybe we'd better get cracking. Not just me, but all of us, because uh, I guess she's one of us, one of Harry Freeman's little early morning family of kooks. And maybe we ought to take some responsibility for her. You game? I am. So, where do we start? Let's find out who she is and where she is and how to get in touch with her. This is 540-3599. Let's get some ideas in here. This is Mr. Conover in 314. I called 20 minutes ago without room service. That's right. All right, two eggs, easy over, black coffee and a half a grapefruit. That's right. That's right. Now, look, uh, what about the maid? Yeah, I'm sure you did, but the fact is we had a little celebration here last night. The room needs a cleaning. Fine. Uh, will you try to get my home number for me again, will you? Harry, I think you're right about the tax situation, and I just wanted to give you my thoughts. A gift, and it's not even my birthday. What? Sir, I hate to arouse you from what is obviously a state of advanced catatonia, but have you been listening to the show this morning? In my car, a few minutes Then may ago. I suggest that you trot quickly back to your car and see if you can catch up with us. Because we're on a new subject. But I just wanted to... Good morning. Good morning. I don't think I've seen you before. I'm just visiting father. Brother Steve. I'm a seminary student. I have a couple of years yet. Oh. Something wrong? I want you to make a confession. Oh, that's this afternoon at four. I don't think I can wait until then. I'm sorry. Um, Father McVeigh's still asleep. He was out very late last night at the hospital. He went to bed right after Mass. Wake him. No, 
know it's all right. It really doesn't make any difference. Mr. Freeman? Yes, ma'am. It occurred to me that that young girl you're looking for, she may not be from around here at all. Why do you say that? She didn't know who you were. Well, it's very flattering, ma'am, but a household word I'm not. Well, I think most people around here know about your program, even if they don't listen to it. <laughs> you sure know how to hurt a guy, Mom. Well, it was just a thought. Well, it beats some of the ideas I've been getting. Thank you very, very much for calling. KJVI. Mr. Freeman? When that young girl called in, is there any way at all to tell where she was calling from? From the phone records or anything? I don't follow you, ma'am. I mean, would they have a record of the number she called from? Uh, no, I don't think so, but, uh, you've got something there. Thank you. Now, that lady had a terrific idea. If we can get our friend to call back again, maybe the phone company can help us track her down. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold all the calls for a few minutes while I dial out. So, please bear with me, folks. Good morning, madam. This is Harry Freeman, station KJVI. I'd like to find out how I can go about tapping a phone line to trace a call. I will connect you with the service representative. Thank you. Ma'am, I'm holding. Service, Mrs. Schindler, may I help you? Uh, Mrs. Schindler, this is Harry Freeman, station KJVI. We're on the air right now. For what? Ma'am, I'm broadcasting a show at this moment on the radio. You're on the air. You mean people are listening? Us now? I think you've finally gotten the drift of it, Mrs. Schindler. Now I need some information about tracing a phone call. I'd have to put you in touch with our Mr. Butler. She'll be in around 9.30. Ma'am, excuse me, but your Mr. Butler is no earthly good to me at 9.30 or even 8.30. Now, if you'll just listen for a moment to cut the story short, we have a young girl of possible suicide who called into my program a short while ago. Now, I think she might call back. What I want is to put a tap on my line so that if she does call back, we can trace the incoming call to find out where she is. I'm afraid that's private information, sir. Unless, of course, the request comes through a recognized agency such as the police or the fire department. Thanks. I've tried the police. It's a matter of the FCC and public utility regulations. I'm sure it is, honey, but I haven't read them lately. Perhaps if I switched you to the emergency supervisor for the area. That means you're going to pass me along to the next nitwit? It is a matter of procedure, sir. Our hands are tied without proper authorization. Lady, you're speaking English. And I'm speaking English, but somehow we're not communicating. Now, I'm talking about a girl who may be in the process of killing herself. Yet she's not dead now. The line is busy, sir. Will you hold? I'll hold. I'll hold. Good morning, Tom. You want one of the pretzels? Joe and Lucy, that's fine. Right. Yeah. Now, I can't pick them up Friday night. 
I don't even know if I'll be home Friday night. Yeah. Uh, well, why don't you let your sister do it, huh? No, I have an idea. I have an idea. Why doesn't he take the bus? Yeah, I, I, it won't cost much. Honey, he's a big boy. Sweetheart, sweetheart, I haven't got the time. Uh, hold, hold on. Yes? Room service. Yeah, come in. All right, look, I'll call you back later, all right? Yeah, we make the decision right now. I'll call you right after lunch. Probably. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Can you tell me how I'm supposed to eat in this mess? Where's the maid? I wouldn't know, sir. Will you please get a maid up here right away? I'll tell the front desk, sir. Yeah, terrific. I'll join you. I don't know where I'm in. It really doesn't make any difference, does it? Oh, sure it does. How about a... Uh... Skydive off the roof of the Shelby Hotel. That's 20 stories down, splat. It'll be all over the front pages the next day, not to mention all over the street. A few people will notice. Nobody really care after a day or two, but you'll be somebody, sweetheart. Front page stuff, they may even spell your name right. Hey, you still there? All through? Um, sure. Hello? Hello? Paula? Bill Butler. Hey, hi, Bill. Sorry to bother you at home. I've been listening to Freeman's program. Uh, yeah, so have I. All of a sudden, everybody has to make jokes about the phone company. Now, look, I know the man has a certain style. He was pretty rough on one of our girls. Yeah, he was rough, uh, but you like you say, that's Harry's style. That's that's what gets those listeners. I understand, but come on, Paul. We must. 